Damn, it look like Hassan Campbell really did get shot. Y'all check this video out right here. Y'all see me up in this hospital bed. So up. Uh, right now they're about to take this bullet out. Had a miserable night sleeping in this hospital, boy. Bags looking crazy. Braids looking nasty. But I'm still alive. <laughs> I'm still alive. So this is the bullet that got me right here. <laughs> Piece of cake. So he just posted that about an hour ago. It looked like he really did get shot, man. Like I said yesterday in my video, whatever our son going through mentally, I pray that he get help. And I pray that that be a lesson learned to him yesterday that you know, you don't gotta wait till you get almost 50 years old to prove a point. Because these days trying to prove a point and end up getting you killed, man. And yesterday you got shot, that could have been a whole lot worse. You could have been an ICU. You could have been a vegetable. You know what I'm saying? That, that shit could have been way worse because you just watched that video. Like I said yesterday, I get, you know, your reason uh, why you may be frustrated probably stem from a lot of stuff you saw coming up and a lot of things you might have experienced, but it's a way to do things, man. And yesterday that went away to go about whatever it is you're going through, whatever it is you're dealing with, with your situation and how you came up. Because yesterday in the video, I touched on the reason why he really mad or why he went on his rant yesterday was because he felt like it didn't take people now but 24 hours to run to Cassie Rescue when she was about to air out Diddy's dirty laundry. And they came up with the settlement, you know, and they trying to sweep this under the rug. It took 24 hours for them to do that. Whereas with him, you know, he been talking about Africa Bound Bottle for like the last six, seven, eight years. And everybody been ignoring him. And he been having a lot to say. Like, he been saying that this man touched him, this man molested him, all type of stuff. Not only him, a few more other people, too. A few more other, like, major names, like LL Cool J. He was, like, fat joking, um, vouch for certain stuff if he was to just speak up. But nobody seen, you know, to run to his rescue when it was him. So that's what he was going off yesterday. That's why he was going on his little rant. So fast forward the next day, talk about 24 hours. Less than 24 hours, you know, we find out that he really did get shot. So it wasn't no cloud chain. I pray that he have a speedy recovery. And I pray that he just, whatever he going through, you know, he just get through it. And he let the past be the past too, because certain situations, man, you should learn from and just grow from them. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you went through in your childhood, let that be something that you use, you know, to reach out to the youth and shine a positive light on your situation through what you went through and you know, try to get through to them, you know, because there's a lot of people out there, high son, who probably been through the same thing that you've been through. You feel me? So you really could have took your story and, you know, really made money off it. Like, started a movement, started a foundation, you know, went that way about it. Nobody in the industry is gonna really embrace you the way, because you be all over the place. If you had a story and you stuck to it and you went so wishy-washy, in your ways and your character and stuff like that, then maybe somebody probably would ride for you, but you ain't loyal to nobody. You follow out with people on social media, you follow out with bloggers, you follow out with YouTubers, you follow out with celebrities, like you follow out with anybody that didn't try to do something for you, you know what I'm saying? You turn back around and you bite the hand that, you know, trying to feed you or whatever the case. So it's like people leaving you out on the island by yourself. And a lot of times when you go through certain stuff, like yesterday, you had people who really, you know, didn't care, or you had people who felt like if it did happen to you, you know, that's good for you, and you get them type of responses when, because when stuff happened to other people, you do things like you title your videos, you know, people getting their snot box rocked and all that stuff, getting their TV turned off. You make a mock out of other people's situations. So yesterday, didn't nobody really take yours serious. Everybody just jumped the gun thinking that it was a cloud chase, and if it was true, then it is what it is, who cares? But prayers to you, man. I'm glad to see that you good. I'm glad to see that you fine, you know what I'm saying? Like you got shot in the shoulder or in the upper bicep somewhere in that area. But y'all be easy.